welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today is Palette Roulette Collab Day where me and my friends Christine from Life with Christine and Gloria from Beauty After 50 do Palette Roulette where we put all of our eyeshadow palettes into the app. Spin the wheel, spin that wheel, and whatever eyeshadow palette comes up, that is the eyeshadow palette, eyeshadow palette that we use to create a look. I will put their channels into the description box below. Please go check them out and let us go ahead and get to it. Hi, if you are new here, my name is Jennifer. I do all things makeup related. I love make doing makeup and I am just a makeup enthusiast. I am not an artist or anything like that, but I just love makeup. I do subscription box unboxings. I love indie makeup and um, I do cooking videos, I love cooking, and I do talk about mental health issues. If you love any of that, and, or if you love all of that, then I would love it if you would hit subscribe, hit that notification bell, set it to all, so that you're notified anytime that I upload a new video. So, let's go ahead, check with the Spin the Wheel app, and see what palette I am working with today. Right, I am working with the Elf Earth and Ocean palette. I got this quite a while back. I have worked with this a few times. I think they still sell this on the Elf website. And it has a mix of earth tones and ocean tones. I think I'm going to go for a blue look today. But I wanted to talk about um, doing a smoky eye because that is what I'm going to do. You can um, do smoky eyes with any kind of eye color look. It doesn't just have to be a, mo a um, monochromatic look or a dark look, um, a sexy kind of look. Um, it can be with a very colorful look. It can, you can even smoke out like a pastel look if you wanted to. Um, if you see like a very colorful palette and you see like a black in there and you're wondering why did they put a black in there? Usually it's not for you to use it as a black. Of course you always could, but it's usually in there for you to use it to darken up other colors. Because usually it's not a very saturated black, like this one is not very saturated. So it's usually used to darken up other colors that you would want to use. And usually when there is a white in there, it's not usually used, although you can use it as a base color, it's usually used to lighten up other colors. So... Um, usually if the formula is good, you can mix the colors and make lighter and darker colors. And if the um, formula is bad, it just makes a muddy mess. So hopefully this is a good formula. And usually with good formulas, you can mix colors and make other colors. It's just like an artist's paint palette. So... Yeah, I am going to do a smoky eye look. You can also do it but just by, like, if you are using a, um, excuse me, my nose itches. If you are using a, um, what's, I just said it, a pastel palette, you just need to use a darker color on your outside. All, all smoky eye is, is using a darker color on your the outside corner of your eye. That's all it really is. 
So, I am going to make a blue smoky eye look. That's what I am going to do today for my look. Hopefully, this palette works out for me. And I'm going to go into this salt water shade. I'm going to do one eye on camera and one eye off camera. Okay, I didn't think this was a shimmer shade, but it kind of looks like a shimmer shade. Oh well, we'll go go for it. Oh, I am so upset um, with boxy Um You know, I canceled my base box. And then what do they do? They end up putting an Ace Butte palette into their base box. One that I don't have. And then, when I go to the drop shop to try to buy it, they're all sold out of it. <sighs> I'm just so frustrated. But I know if I want it bad enough, it's that... It's that one that has greens and purples and purple pinks in it. All just colors that I really, really love. But I know if I really want it, they're sold out of it on their regular site too. But like I said, I know if I really, really want it, I can wait for it to come back on the site. Okay, I'm going into this color Abyss. Now, and I'm also going to put it in my outer corner as well. And maybe they will have it marked down. Maybe they'll have it back again by Black Friday. And have a sale on it. Because I don't know, I don't really know what the retail price is on it. I don't mess with elf shadows that much. I know I've heard that their bite size palettes are really good, but I've never tried one. Okay, let's try some of this black called Trenches in the inner corner. And let us try to smoke this out.
see how that's working? You get a really deep blue color. It's not quite black. So there you go. And then we are going to use this drip drip. Color on the lids. Beautiful. Okay. And um, you might be a little cleaner than me. But I just clean it up. And there you have a blue smoky eye. Okay, let me put on some eyeliner. Okay, there is what the first eye looks like. I am going to go off camera and do the other eye and then I will be right back. Okay, this is what the final look is like. Do I look like Mimi? <laughs> okay, I don't mind. These are what the eyes look like here. And yeah, this was a pretty good palette. I don't remember it being so nice. I remember it being kind of average, really. So yeah, I put um this color, what is it? Oasis? right here in my lower lash line and this color Lagoon in my inner corner for my inner corner highlight. And yeah, um, to finish up my eyes and my eyebrows, I used this Kosas Airbrow. Um, in the color brown, I think. Um, medium brown, something like that. Um, I use the Epic Wear NYX um, eyeliner in the shade, um, what is that? Pitch Block. I can't remember that from yesterday. I use the Better Than Sex from Too Faced Mascara. And on my face, I use the LYS um, foundation in the shade LN6. I used the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. And then for bronzer, I used the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I think it's in the color Tan Lines. Yeah, it says it on the side. And for blush, I used the e.l.f. Blush in the shade Turks and Caicos, and then for powder, I used my NYX Finishing Powder, Mineral Based, and the shade Banana, and then for um, highlight, I used this Catrice More Than Glow Highlighter, 
in the color 030 Beyond the Glow. Really good highlighter. And then on my lips, I use the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in the shade Orchid. That's it. <laughs> I can see that. Okay, really good lip product, by the way. And, um, yeah, those are all the products I used. And, okay. Uh, go check out Gloria and Christine's palette roulettes. See what their spin the wheel app picked out for them. And, yeah, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Again, I am just a makeup enthusiast. Everything I shared with you is just what I'm, I'm just parroting back what I have learned from watching countless, countless hours on YouTube. And, yeah, so, yeah, I am not a makeup artist by any, by any means. And, yeah, so, okay. Um, leave me a comment down below. Check me out on my socials, on Instagram, on Twitter, and on TikTok. And I hope you are having a wonderful, fantastic day out there tonight. today. If you are not, I hope something comes along and sparks your day so that you can have a wonderful, fantastic day. And if you're having an especially hard time, know that I am thinking about you and sending you out all those good vibes. Just remember to stay strong, stay healthy, and stay safe out there. And I will see you in another video tomorrow. Just stay well until then. Okay. Goodbye.